What's going on guys, Volt here, and I'm bringing you another episode of Import and Export Millionaire Tips and Tricks. So, let's get right into this, we're going to get right into the mission, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to start trying to bang these out real quick, because, well not real quick, but I'm going to try to bang these out as much as I can, that way I can get them all out there and help you guys out, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people have actually been having a, quite a bit of trouble with these. So, I won't really know what mission it is until I actually get outside and know what she says. Um, if you do hear a little bit of background, which I think I could probably change that real quick. If I just change this. Okay, cool. So, you won't hear that. I don't think you'll see that part. Hopefully not. Um, Alright, go to the roof. Get my buzzard. Probably land on the ground, but you know, whatever it is. Um, if you did hear a little bit of, like, a, you know, the message from... Oh, that was my actual phone. If you hear a message from my phone in-game... It's probably coming from my controller, so that's okay. just something well, right there. All right, problem, let's see what she says. The car belongs to a warlord. Uh, for sure, Second warlord. Problem, okay, so this is one I haven't done yet. Key. This is a, a very problem, one easy one if you can get the right area. So what you got to do is you got to go steal the car from a warlord. Now, this warlord has the key on one of his bodyguards, and you have to take out his bodyguards. Now, as I said in one of my earlier uh, videos in my Tips and Tricks series, you need to make sure that you have... A suppressed weapon now this can be an assault rifle a pistol a machine gun whatever you know as long as it is a suppressed weapon because how this mission works is you need to be stealthy to take out the bodyguards without the other bodyguards knowing what was up okay so there's three locations for this one I'll just show the first one here um, I'll go and if I maybe you know get the other ones I'll put them up as well that way you can kind of figure out what it is and I think at the very end of this video, if I don't get this one 100% no damage, I'll show you what it looks like whenever you get the key easier. Because the key is a random, it's going to be placed on someone randomly, so you don't know who it's going to be placed on. So as you know, right there's the car. Um, you come run over here to this corner here, and you kind of just take your time. Um, you just want to kill this first guy. Sometimes he may have it, sometimes he doesn't. So uh, you want to try to stay out of the line of sight of him. Sometimes I like to crouch. And other times I like to just wait. So what I want to do here is I'm going to walk over here real quick. I'm going to take this guy out right here. And he has the key. Okay, so he has the key. I'm going to walk over here and just wait right on the steps. Just take my time. Nice and easy. Grab the key. Okay. So if you didn't get the key, all you would do is just keep on taking guys out. I would take out the guy that's walking up now. Which I'll, I'll come over here and I'll just show you real quick. I would take out... This guy right here that's walking up, and then I would take this guy out, and then these guys are really hard to take out all at once, but I would probably try taking out this guy next because he comes down here. You get him past this guy, you can take him out. Uh, like I said, it's all about, you know, what's going on. If you do alert them, which I don't know if I can, I don't really want to because it's a lot easier if I don't. If you do alert them, though, they actually send enemies after you. But if you actually get the key and don't alert any of the bodyguards, a little tip here, a definitely a big tip actually helps you out a lot. You won't have any helicopters or people chasing you. Now watch, I just got in the car. I'm taking off. I'm going to try driving my best there. Hopefully I don't get any damage on it. Um, if I do, you know, I'm going to try keeping it minimal. So, and I am in my own public session. I do recommend doing this in your own public session. Uh, you can even sell in your own public session. I'll have a way to... Explain on how I'm doing that a little bit later. Uh, probably not right now. I'll probably make that after this video though, and then upload it after this one. So it might be the next video you see after this. It might not be, depending on how I feel. So as you see, I have no enemies face like chasing me. I have no car, no like. Um, I don't remember. I think it's a uh, like a V12, whatever it is, the uh, Benefactor Shafter V12 armored chasing me. I don't have a helicopter chasing me or anything like that. But if you do get the key and you alert the bodyguards somehow or if you get you alert the bodyguards and then you get the key as long as the bodyguards are alerted you'll have people chasing you if you don't then you don't have to worry about anybody chasing you and you can just deliver right to your warehouse just like so it's very very easy again i'll probably put maybe at the end uh if i get any more locations before i upload this i'll put more at the end otherwise i think i'll probably just skip it and then just go and uh just upload this as is, and then if I get the other locations, I'll tell you how I take out the other guys. Because, in my opinion, the other locations are easier to take out than that one. That one's probably well, one of the more harder ones. 
you want to um, add to the collection, log back okay, onto Okay, so we're adding that card to your database, and that, that's pretty much how you do it. I mean, like I said, it's a very simple one. You just got to use a stealth weapon. Make sure you have a stealth, we uh, stealth weapon. Um, and just take them out one by one. The cones pretty much let you know where people are. So you want to kind of keep them out of the cones of other people, if that makes sense. I kind of told you how to do that one. I should have shown it all the way through. Uh, most of the time, if I do do that one all the way through and I get to the very last guy, it's probably when I have bodyguards that are going to be alerted and I'm going to have enemies chasing me. But, you know, it really depends on how how you alert, if you don't alert them or not, and where the key is placed. It could be placed in the first guy you kill. It could be placed in the last guy you kill. It could be placed in the middle. You know, you don't really know who it is actually on. But like I said, if I get the other areas, I will upload them in this video as well. If I don't, then you'll see them in another video, and it'll be another episode of Import and Export Millionaire Tips and Tricks. So anyways, I hope you guys learned something from this. If you did, leave a like down below. And uh, anyways, I think that's about it. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave it a like. It does help my channel grow. Um, and if you guys have any comments or suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you have any you know, tips or tricks that I should know about, I always have a Twitter. It's down in my description below as well. You can message me on there. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me make sure my outro is ready to go. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. I'm out. Peace.